Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum uh, My name is Muhammad Haris Saikal bin Hadi And My name is Muhammad Nazri Syam Okay, today uh, we are going to present about biomechanic analysis in hammer through So Nazirul will proceed with his presentation Okay, first of all I will show you the raw video uh, we take it from uh, YouTube. This is the first degree. This hammer throw consists of four pieces. Okay, we proceed to the next slide. Okay, first slide, which is uh, the athlete's bio. Uh, uh, okay, first of all, uh, her name is, uh, his name uh, is Pavel Barisha, which is uh, from Belarus. Uh, born uh, February 16, 1991, and was born in Grondo, Grondo. Belarus with the height and weight uh, 1.93 meter and the weight is 120 kilogram. Okay, the objective uh, from uh, our presentation is to know the anatomical uh, involved in hematro, which is we conclude uh, in uh, joint, muscle, and bone. Okay, identify the phases of hematro, which is we have four phases um, the wing, the turn, the entry, and the finish. Okay, and lastly, to understand the biomechanic of hematro, which is we, we measure as a degree of our body. Okay, this is the anatomical that uh, I mentioned. The muscle involved, bone involved, joint and liver system. I will cover on muscle, joint and bone. Okay, first of all, what muscle involved uh, in our body part in when performing hammer throw? Okay, first of all, uh, deltoid. Deltoid. Here is our deltoid. Tricep. Bicep, trap at uh, behind our body, uh, external oblique, uh, our abs, and internal oblique, and latissimus dorsi. Okay, this is uh, muscle involved in lower limb. Okay, uh, recently I mentioned for upper limb, and this is uh, the lower limb uh, use, muscle use. Okay, first, soleus. Okay, soleus. Tibialis anterior, um, hamstring, quadricep, gluteal muscle, your behind muscle, and gastrocnemius. Okay, next. Okay, this is uh, our uh, bone involved in for upper limb uh, in when performing hammer throw, which is uh, first of all our phalanges, our metacarpals. Couples, radius and ulna, radius and ulna, our hand uh, bone, humerus, clavicle, scapula, and vertebral column. Okay, vertebral column, humerus, clavicle, your shoulder, and at your shoulder and scapula. Clavicle okay. and also known as collarbone. Okay, this is for the lower limb. Um, okay, first of all, our pelvis. Pelvis, femur, our tight bone, uh, patella, our knee, tibia, fibula, tibia, fibula. Tibia is our uh, uh, large bone for, for leg. And tarsal, metatarsal, and also pharyngeus. 
Yeah, this is uh, the joint involved uh, for uh, hammer throw performing. Okay, first of all, uh, consists of ball and socket joint, which is uh, the example used is uh, your shoulder and your head because you want to turn the hammer. Okay. Second is hinge joint. Hinge joint is consists of your elbow, your knee, and also your ankle. Okay. Pivot joint. Pivot joint only use uh, your neck uh, joint. And uh, lastly, gliding and saddle joint use your wrist and also your ankle and your leg. Okay. Uh, Aris, we proceed. Next slide. Uh, okay, Assalamualaikum. I'm going to continue uh, the presentation. So, uh, the level system used in hammer throw is the third class level, which is uh, the fulcrum is at our shoulder. So, the force we use uh, at the hand and the load is uh, which happen to be the hammer. So, uh, the level system for biomechanics in hammer throw is the third class level. Okay, next. okay uh, this is the phases uh, in hammer throw, which is uh, there are four phases in the hammer throw. Okay, for the first is the wind. So the wind also we are also known as the beginning, uh, where the hammer uh, we put the uh, little bit force to lift up and try to swing. So this is the phase. Uh, so we the athlete must open uh, 98 degree at his uh, hand. Uh, to make sure the uh, amount of force is enough to get, uh, to lift the hammer. So in this position, uh, the the first uh, law of Newton is uh, uh, is inertia, which is when the ball in the static position and when we uh, put some force to lift it, so it moves from the uh, static position. Okay, next. Okay, uh, the entry, which is the second phase of the hammer throw. So, uh, if you can see here, the athlete uh, bend a little bit and uh, lock his back to avoid any injury. So, uh, in this second and the third phase, uh, we are going to see the uh, acceleration law where uh, the athlete must put uh, enough force uh, to produce the maximum uh, acceleration to uh, get the enough and to get the most uh, quality result. So next. Okay, this is the turn where the third phase uh, before going to the uh, the release phase, uh, the fourth phase. So, if you can see here, uh, the athlete open for his upper body uh, at his hand is 94 degree and at his uh, lower limb for at the knee is 72 degree. So, uh, most of the pro athlete uh, will get the same or a little bit similar degree because of their uh, hours of training and their personal knowledge. So uh, this is the best angle that you should uh, uh, have. So uh, on, in this third phase also we can see the acceleration law where the athlete uh, use all of his energy to produce the acceleration. Okay, uh, the fourth phase is the finish. Uh, if you can see here, uh, at the second and third phase, uh, we are going to see the acceleration law. So, uh, at the fourth phase, uh, is the law is used by the action reaction. 
where the athlete will release the hammer uh, at the uh, point where he should uh, release after finish the third phase. Okay, next. Okay, as the conclusion is, uh, this uh, sport of hammer throw consists of com the combination of upper and the lower limb. Uh, there are also four phases in the sport, in this sport, and always do the right technique and practice uh, a lot to for you to have the good and uh, specific angle to produce the best quality of your 